Clavio email marketing tutorial for beginners how to use Clavio. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you guys how you can get started with Clavio. So, Clavio is a online platform that allows you to get started with marketing in terms of emails, SMS, mobile push reviews, and CDP. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we're going to do is click on sign up on the top right. And then we're just going to sign up on Clavio. So I'll just create a password. Then we're going to add our company name over here. And then you're going to link your company website and phone number. So I'm just going to add this and I'll get back to you guys in a second. So now our account has been created and I've just linked my Shopify store and you can just connect this over here. So you can just click on continue and this will take a couple of seconds for your data to be imported from Shopify. So if you have any pre-existing customer data, you can integrate that into Clavio as well. And you can do this with any other website builder that you have been using. If you are not using a specific website builder, if you have deployed your website on WordPress, then you can simply create a CSV file of your pre-existing customer base and you can import that onto Clavio as well for a easy setup. Now this is going to be our sender information. Now this is what it's going to appear in my customer's inbox. So the sender name is going to be Durden and this is going to be the email address. Now this can't be a Gmail domain so keep that in mind. You will have to replace this with a proper domain. So we're going to go with Durden at store.com like this and then you're just going to click on continue over here. After that, you will be able to see how you want to reach your subscribers. So we want to only get started with email marketing right now. So we're just going to click on email. Now, once you have created your account, you're going to see on the left panel, you have your homepage, campaigns, flows, reviews, sign up form, and your audience and content. Now, let's break these down into more easier to digest bytes because a lot of times when you're starting with email marketing, it might be a bit difficult for you to know what type of audience segmentation you have to do and what type of campaigns and templates you should be building. So let's get into that. Now, one thing to understand is in your campaign section, you're going to see any of your active email marketing emails or campaigns that you have created. Make sure to keep in mind that even when you create like one email, that's still considered a campaign in Clavio. Then you will have flows, which basically is going to be your automation center where you can get started with building a automation for your emails. Then you're going to have your reviews and sign up forms. Now, in your review section, you're going to be able to see your customer product reviews. Now you can insert this Clavio based review widget into your website if you want. If you don't want that, you can always skip that and just add your own sign up form for registration of your customers. Now this is a very important step because you want to collect customer emails and having to manually import those again and again in the form of CSV files is eventually going to be a bit tiresome. So I like to use Clavio primarily for sign up forms if I'm going to use it for email marketing as well. Then you will have your audience. Now in your audience, you have growth tools, lists and segmentations, and then you have profiles. Now, primarily when you're getting started, you just want to overview your lists and segmentation because you want to make sure your audience is divided into different chunks. You might have a audience that is new subscribers, so people that have just signed up. Let's say we're running this, you know, retail business and we have like, let's say we have clothing in this business. So for that particular business, let's say we have a new subscriber audience, we have a, a recurring customer audience, then we might have have a um, infrequent purchaser audience, which are people that are viewing our products, but they're not buying it. So this is going to help you in categorizing that. You can go into lists and segmentation and you can click on create new and you can click on create segment or create list and uh, these two are different because in lists you have to manually add you know a static list of subscribed profiles which means you're just going to add like if i add like 10 vip customers they're never going to change even if they stop purchasing from me and a segmentation is going to be a well-defined property so 
For example, if I was to talk about our infrequent customer base, so these might be customers that are visiting our website once a week, but have not purchased a product in their last three visits or in the last three weeks. So you can create segmentations like this. It really depends on how you want to build the segmentation. Now you have multiple different conditions to this as well to better help add your segmentation. Let's say this is going to be for us. Let's build a segmentation of VIP customers. VIP customers like this. And then when someone has done, and I can choose a metric, let's say subscribe to SMS marketing, and I want to add an or condition. Let's say I just don't want that. I'll start from scratch. So let's say predictive analytics, predicted gender is likely female. And then I want another condition. And if someone can receive email marketing, and if that person is let's say properties about someone and then in that let's say we have maybe something like their last active uh, they have been active in the last 30 days and they have also and i'll choose the metric which is going to be that they have opened our emails in the past 30 days so with all of these filters i can find a vip customers or engaged customers list and then i can start building my content around that particular segmentation segmentation is very important before you you know start creating your marketing campaigns because if you send a email that no one reads there's really no point in that so making sure that your emails are targeted according to your audience so once we have completed this, you will see on your left panel, we have our content section. Now, this is one of our most important sections. And from here, we're going to start building our emails for our email marketing. So you can go into templates over here and in your templates, you will see a bunch of different templates available. You have a template library. You can pick out any template you want. You have some saved templates that you can create for yourself. And then you have your universal content as well, where you can upload your own universal content, like your logos. Maybe you have like a really popular brand image. Maybe you have like a really popular sales, sales representative that you feature in all of your content. So you can add all of your content over here for future use as well. Now, let's say I want a one column layout and I want this to be a basic layout and let's say I want this to be about maybe Christmas so or not Christmas let's say this is going to be about Valentine's Day so I can pick out the particular template styles oh I can't find anything for Valentine's Day but let's say we're gonna go for St. Patrick's Day now, you guys can see there are two different templates available for St. Patrick's Day as well. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to go for a particular theme within your email. You can go for a basic newsletter email as well. But let's take this Cyber Monday and you can just click on use template over here. And then you have a block by block editor where you can get started with your editing. So to edit any element within the email, just click on the element and on the left panel, you have your options to remove and edit it. So we have our styles, we have the block styles as well. And then we also have these larger images. Now on the top, they have added a logo image. Let's say I don't want that. So from the left panel, I'll click on delete over here. Then we have this image and then we have some text. Now in the text, I'm gonna click on text over here. And then on the left, it's showing what it's going to say. So it says Cyber Monday deals. Let's say I want to just add, instead of my Cyber Monday template, I'm converting this to just a clearance template. So clearance at Durden like this. And then I'm going to decrease the font size from the top left as well. So I'm gonna convert this into 35 over here not this not so small i'm gonna reselect all my text and then convert this into a 35 and you know you can add more elements you can delete the elements as well but i'm just going to delete this image from here and we're going to actually take this and duplicate it and then i might want to we have two columns and then in this column i want to remove the text like this and then we might want to 
go into our second column or I'm going to change the split settings and then I'm just going to convert the second column into just one and then I'll just delete all these other sections on top like this and if I want to display it twice I can do that or I can add you know different columns as I wish as you go and then you can you know add or remove more elements as you go once you have completed your design on the bottom, you can add your shop now buttons on the left panel. You will see multiple different blocks that you can add into your email. Now, once you have completed the editing of your email, just click on preview and test on the top right. And from here, you can preview the email as how a customer would see it. And then you can click on send test. Now, from here, just insert your own email address to see what it's going to look like in your inbox. And once you've completed this, you can just click on done and then save this once you have saved your template you can just schedule it for a certain time you can also clone a template to make you know a different variation of that to send to maybe a different target audience and then you can just go ahead in your content and get started with your campaign so you can click on campaigns on the top left and click on create campaign on the top left and then we want to send a email campaign we're going to click on save and continue let's say we want to send this to our engaged customer customer list and then we're going to click on continue to content and then in our content instead of you know using these I can just go on ahead and select the template that I want to use as well or you can use you know the drag and drop editor and then from here you're going to go into your save templates this is going to show you the template that you just edited and you can insert that into your new campaign and just like that you can get started with email marketing on Clavio. so i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe